Uh, welcome to another episode of Kidding Jim. Now, I'm here with a lovely co host, uh, Jen from Disney. And so, I was thinking about this, and like, I know you're definitely. See, a lot of times, like, when it comes to like food, and from there, it's just with eat the food and matter of fact, she's a owner as well. But these are these. But they, they really get a chance to be on camera. So, what I want to actually do is have uh, Jen actually eat the food with me in order to show the experience of how beautiful the food actually is. But without further ado, uh, the first thing that we're going to try, Jen, is what? So this is our identity crisis, and I have to tell you how amazing it is that I get to eat today. So all of the chefs out there can probably tell you that they'll go through the whole day and they'll make stuff for everybody else, and they never get to eat. So this is my first meal of the day, so thank you very much. So this is the identity crisis. Um, at the restaurant, we do a bunch of different things. A couple of things that we are known for are sandwiches. So we start out with the fresh Jamaican party bread that we make every single morning because I'm only slightly obsessive like that. And our, our two most popular sandwiches, it's uh, our buffalo chicken sammy, which is our seitan chicken with bread and there is a remoulade sauce and fresh lettuce and tomato and two patties and a slaw on top and more sauce and uh, more bread and pesto. Okay, so there's that. And then there's a jerk chicken sandwich which comes with real pineapple, and bread and the sauce and all that stuff. And because those things are so wonderful, most times when people come here, they're like, I don't know which one I want. So I made everybody's life easier. And I created the identity crisis, which is essentially that, for when you can't decide. It's half buffalo, half jerk. All right, so today I will be tasting the half buffalo while she tastes the half jerk. And so without further ado, Miss um, Jen, I get to cut. I will cut it. So this is our fresh bread, see, with our pesto cream sauce and we grilled it. This is a massive sandwich. A true confession, I've never actually eaten the sandwich like this. I normally like get pieces of it in between orders. So I've always looked at people eating it and they're like, okay, how do I open my mouth to eat this? Nice smile. So now I get to do this on camera, which is going to be really embarrassing. Let's go for it, right? That's definitely. Well, when I tell you, look at this. This is like a humongous sandwich. But the ball can't eat it. It did not. Yeah. So. Oh. Mm. So you can do that. I'm going to be dainty. <laughs> All right. So I'm about to dig in like a savage, as you well know. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay. I get it. Uh, so, why, <laughs> so why do you like the jerk? Mm -hmm. I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. When most people come in and they ask about the jerk, they go, well, is it spicy? Because in Jamaica, we make our jerk really spicy. However, jerk is really the method of doing it. And also the jerk paste, which has primarily pimento seed, among other things. But pimento, they can find at your grocery store under all spice, gives the meat, the seitan in this case, a very earthy, woody flavor, not spicy. So I'd say that this is very flavorful. You can definitely get the earthiness of meat, because sometimes when you make um, vegetarian food, it's missing that earthiness that meat normally has. But the jerk really lends a nice earthiness to it and then the pineapple which is charred has a sweetness okay okay it's good just it's good tell well, me about your buffalo no just buffalo like you're expecting like just heat with buffalo you get heat but you also get different flavors like when you mm -hmm. taste like the i think it's called the broccoli melody the broccoli slaw the rainbow broccoli, broccoli slaw rainbow broccoli slaw mm -hmm. so like you try that along with and like that the fierceness of the buffalo sauce like it just makes a really really good sandwich and like the crazy part to this so you all need to know when you actually <laughs> eat this as you can tell it's dinner time okay mm -hmm. so when you actually eat this like it's one of those things like you you think you eat meat like you really do <laughs> think that you eat meat but it's vegan so mm -hmm. it's definitely great for you 
So wow, this is like an amazing soundtrack. Even when it comes to like the bread that is toasted with the sauce. You have to try it. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking. I'm, I'm about to eat this uh, again. Sorry. Mm. Okay. I can see why people like this. I mean, I know I made it, but still. Mm. Mm. People, when I tell you don't sleep on this one, <laughs> yes, is that a sitcom station? But don't let the sit go fool you because like, this taste is so good and so strong that you don't know what great food is until you try it. See, one of the things that we really wanted to stress when we came here in the in the gas station is to make veganism approachable. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it has a reputation as being other mm -hmm. or something that's not accessible to everyone. And I wanted to show that veganism is just food. It's cruelty-free food, but it's just food. And if you can, and it doesn't have to be a destination stop, it doesn't have to be something you go out of your way to get it. So if you can get like really good vegan food while you're pumping your gas, anybody can go vegan. And that's why we're here, in the middle of the gas station. <laughs> wow, so what we're about to do now is taste this other lovely thing that she made. Hey, mm -hmm. people, do you know that she makes ice cream from uh, scratch? Uh, vegan ice cream. So tell me about the two ice cream that we're going to try that. Okay, so which one do you want to start first? Mm, the rum raisin. The rum raisin. Yes, you know we have to go back to the oh. Jamaican Thank you. characters on that one. But go ahead, rum raisin. So every single day on my way to school, um, I would take the bus. It was this weird thing. I would take the bus to go to school, and you would stop. There was like a, a mom and pop store, like a shop, just by the bus stop. And I would go there and I would get like a, a half pint of rum raisin ice cream every single morning. Mm -hmm. And everybody would go, but aren't it what are isn't it cold? Aren't you gonna be cold? And I'd explain that the fat will actually make your body warm. What I didn't tell them was that it would take forever to make your body warm. It doesn't make it instantly. <laughs> but that was my excuse. So I got away with eating rum raisin ice cream every single morning, well five days a week, until my mama found me. But when I went vegan, I really, really wanted to capture this. This is the quintessential Jamaican ice cream. Like everybody eats rum raisin ice cream. Like in Jamaica, we're not too creative with our names. So like the guy who drives around with the ice cream truck, he's called Cream. Because he sells ice cream. <laughs> and if he happens to sell fudge, then he's called Fudgy. So... <laughs> So creamy would always have rum raisin ice cream. So I made this without the milk, without the cow's milk. This is actually a very light coconut milk base that you can detect. And then we soak our raisins in uh, Jamaican rum, Ray Nephew rum, the, the golden one, for about three weeks. So these are like ridiculously happy raisins. And we use cane sugar, a bit of vanilla, and that's essentially it. Okay. Did you try it? Oh, definitely. Hey, did I mention that this humble little thing happened to be voted as one of the top 50 desserts in America? Yep, by Veggies Magazine. October issue. Wow. Yes. See, now that's amazing. I know I have to try this. <laughs> well, you can do that. I'll still eat this. Wow. <laughs> No. Mm. Okay, I lied. People. <laughs> People. Mm -hmm. You just don't understand like the, the rum and the raisin. <laughs> and it's vegan. But it still tastes wonderful because of the fact that it's vegan. Wow. Like, you could put this up against regular rum raisin and still be satisfied. That's how good it is. Thank you. Wow. Did you get a raisin? I did not get a raisin. That's amazing. Those are the happiest raisins in the world.
before I am close to saying that this is a wrap because we're so good at what it is for myself. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. Thank you. That is amazing. Now, the second one on the list is what? It's the very first ice cream I ever made. It's a red velvet cheesecake and ice cream. Red velvet cheesecake ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, so this actually is our number one seller. Okay. Our number two seller is the coffee with cookies and cream. Our number three is the rum raisin. But once you get the rum raisin, you always stick with it. <laughs> Did I mention we have like 14 ice cream flavors? 14. 14. We call it Irie Cream. Because in Jamaica, Irie is a, an expression of happiness and contentment. Red velvet cheesecake. But this is not vegan. <laughs> it tastes too good to be vegan. What? But this is vegan. It's totally vegan. It's totally vegan. <laughs> Just when you get like the red velvet, you know that like it's made perfectly good and melts mm -hmm. in with the vegan ice creams. You, you, you know. Um, I, I would talk to my African American friends right now. <laughs> you know a good red velvet cake when you eat it. To have it in ice cream, yo. to have it in ice cream. Okay. Amazing. So what if I told you uh -huh. that the red stuff actually comes from beet juice? What would you say? I would be shocked. Mm -hmm. Why not for the No color. Meat juice. Wow, that is amazing. No, that is amazing. <laughs> so, people, we, we, before we cut this off, like you do have to know this. Jim, mm -hmm. now you do uh, pre packaged meals. I do. So please tell us about that and tell us about what you're serving. Okay, one second. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some very interesting hours at the cafe. We open at 6 from Tuesdays all the way through Friday. But then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays we close at 2. Thursdays and Fridays we'll go a little later and we have dinner. And so we were getting pretty darn well close to hate mail going why are you closed at two o'clock why I get off from work at five where's the food I said okay cool I like my sleep so I'm not gonna extend my hours past two o'clock but I'll get you food so we started putting the meals the same meals that we have that's made fresh every day is hot and, and lovely we put them in these um, green containers called our ivory green box and we have them in the cooler that's right out front uh, at the cafe. So basically you can come in and you can get the food. It's made, all of the stuff that we have for lunch. It's in the cooler, you pay for it at the main register in the gas station. So we don't even have to be here. It's easy for you to enjoy your food. We put a lot of thought into that Irish green box because at the cafe we're actually extremely environmentally friendly because I think that we need to take care of the earth so that there is, it'll be around for all of us, right? So the Irish Green Box is actually, um, it's PPA free, it's made from recycled materials, it is itself recyclable, it is microwavable, dishwasher safe, but what's better than recycling? You tell me, what's better? Reusing. So it's reusable um, like for five gazillion million times. So it's one of those containers that if you come in and you get it, please don't throw it away. You wash it, you put it in your dishwasher, you hand wash it, and you can use it again and again and again and again. I have um, one particular friend who's very um, environmentally conscious. He actually brings his green container in for his meal. So when he comes in, he was here today for lunch. He doesn't take any to go containers. He doesn't take, he doesn't even want it served on any of the platters. He wants it in his green container. Yeah. So that's our Irish green box. Nice, nice. And so um, that's a blessing that yes, you make that and from there, make amazing food as well. Now for the readers out there, 
uh, Jen also has a special project that she's doing. So, uh, what is the project? I can't eat and talk at the same time. This is crazy. I'm not good at this. Give me two seconds. Okay. So one of the things that we're passionate about, obviously, at the, the cafe is veganism. So we take a very low-key approach to vegan activism. Of course, we have vegan food, which speaks volumes. Um, but we also want to educate people on what veganism is, what it's all about, what some of the options are. But rather than, you know, preaching to somebody, because nobody really likes that, we have a very low-key approach to our library system. So we have a collection of vegan books and vegan cookbooks, which is uh, accessible to anyone. So at any point, you can walk into the cafe, take a book from our, it's actually a dollhouse, we got a dollhouse, oh my god. So we got a dollhouse that we converted into a bookcase. So at any time, you can come and grab a book from our bookcase and bar. We only ask that you put it back when you're done so that we can keep you know, keep it in rotation and so more people can get access to it. We also ask if you happen to have books at home that we always take donations for our, our vegan library. So bring them over. You we'll probably get some ice cream as an even exchange. Sounds good, right? And we'll add it to the library and then we'll keep educating people about the wonderful benefits of veganism. Mm. So people, without further ado, how to get to Zanikins to let Let's tell, tell people where you are. <laughs> so, Dejanit's Cafe and Creamery is located at 4845 North Orange Blossom Trail inside the Lee Sitco gas station. Uh, it's very close to where John Young becomes Lee. In Lee Road, it's at that OBT intersection. Um, if you guys are familiar with Marge's Christmas store, it's the big Christmas store, the pink building. We're about two buildings down from that. And there, as of right now, we haven't put up any signs on the outside saying Dejanit. So if you happen to drive by a Lisa gas station and there's no sign, it very well might be us. So it's a Lisa and we're inside. Nice. So, people, I just want to thank you for joining me on this ride of hidden gems. <laughs> so, um, when we come to a spot, definitely you know it's a hidden gem. Definitely come out and show your support. And so, just. Um, Please have a blessed rest of your day and yo, continue to eat good. Yes. We appreciate you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I am so